Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Dynamic Coder. Today we start with our new video of installation of Windows Server 2019 in VMware Workstation. So I've already opened my VMware Workstation. So before start this video, I have I am I am going to upload uh, the ISO image of the Windows Server in the below link. So if you download it, you can go to the go to my Google Drive and you can download it from there as well. Okay, and if you really like my content, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so we'll go to File, the new virtual machine, then leave it as typical. Go to Next. We will install our operating system later. Click on Next. We'll select Windows Server, and here in the drop down, we'll select 2016. Click on Next. We'll leave it as it is because we have already installed one of the Windows Server here. So this is that's why giving the name as 2016 part two or else uh, I can go to particular uh, folder and I can name it or I can create a new folder from there as well. But uh, from now uh, I am leaving this as it is and go to next leave all the disk capacity as by default click on next go to finish. Okay, so your installation is done now. You will see here that Windows Server 2016 is here. Now edit virtual machine. Now go to memory. We are uh, changing it to 4 GBs. If you have higher uh, RAM, then you can increase it to 1632 as well. And uh, we'll select our uh, uh, ISO image from here. Like we'll select this uh, radio button. Go to browse and I have uh, added it in the folder as windows server 2019 double click on it and this is my iso image uh, click on open so this has already been added uh, here the network adapter is net uh, you can select according to your choice uh, if i want to select custom because my network adapter is vmnet zero uh, if you want to check it then you go to windows plus r and under run you will type ncpa.cpl you know and uh, below that option you can check it your network adapter as vmnet uh, what is set by default okay so i am setting this as vmnet 0 and i am clicking on okay okay so this is now done now i am power on my windows server okay so this is uh, the screen which is popping up now just wait for a while uh, it start uh, adding so i am pausing this video so we'll, we'll see on the screen that this is the screen pop up on our screen as a windows setup. We'll leave all this language time and uh, all the settings by default. Click on next now. Uh, and this is written over here as a install now. Yeah, so this is starting up. Just wait for a while. Yeah, so here you will see the operating system has four options. We will select the second option as standard evaluation, the desktop experience. Okay, now click on next. Yeah, and now accept the terms and conditions. Click on next. Uh, we will select as custom and leave it as it is. Now click on next. So this is now installing. And I am pausing this video just to avoid to make this video very larger. So just pausing for a while till the time it gets completed so you can see here this is 11 percent now so so you'll see here that this is 90 yeah this is loading now I am pausing this video till the time it gets completed. You will see here the window is preparing. It is ready. So we have successfully created our Windows Server. And this is now the uh, username and password we need to provide. So I am giving the IP address. Uh, sorry, I am giving the password according to my choice.
click on finish now control all delete yeah so we are giving the default password that we have set So you can see here that we have successfully logged into our Windows server. You can check the IP address by go to CMD and checking by IP config slash all or else. Uh, yeah, so we are also creating our next videos for the Windows Server 2019 as well. So please follow our page so that if you want to gain certain knowledge of Windows Server, how to install, how to create Active Directory, how to create domain controllers and all we are covering in our next video as well. So please follow us and if you really like my content, please like, share and subscribe to my Dynamic Coder page. And thank you so much.